Welcome once again, it's time for another Let's Play WWE 2004, and as always, I'm here with Sam. I think you forgot to say exciting Let's Play. <laughs> well, I mean, it's definitely one of the uh, the more exciting Let's Play I'm doing. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. It's definitely the most exciting one that I'm doing online. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do one myself, but I don't know if I could edit and all that bull stuff. Well, I mean, it's the most exciting one because WrestleMania is right around the corner. The granddaddy of them all. Yeah. The ultimate thrill ride. Yep. And now yeah, we're... Do you think we could put a roller coaster? What is it, WrestleMania 20? Yeah. Oh, uh, we're born again. Is that where WrestleMania was born again? I think so, yeah. What was your slogan? Um, Something about being born again, isn't it? Like, WrestleMania, born again Christians? Oh, uh, where it all begins again. Because it was oh, back yeah, at the yeah. garden. That's kind of lame, actually. Yeah. Um. WrestleMania. Fuck yeah. Oh, uh, we were just here. I remember, uh. I remember hey, Booking Eddie. Hey, the hell will this Tiger Raj sing? I think he'd make a great WWE champion. Yeah, 20 years from now. Uh. <laughs> Actually, 15, but whatever. Who's counting? Yeah. Let's move to... Let's move to the... I don't know, Southwest? That works. Is that how you base on where we were? You just see it was local? Yeah. Oh, Brian Adams, do you think I'll play a concert? <laughs> I like Cassidy Riley. I interviewed him one time. Okay, we'll get him on a one-night deal. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make him a jobber. Yeah. Uh. Okay, Anthony, where are we right now? Southwest. Oh, we're in my stomping grounds. They have Billy Blade. Oh, there's Beth Phoenix. How old is she? We should just sign her. 22. You think we should sign her to a developmental deal? Uh, we could after after the show. Oh, this kid, this kid came from a. Is that is that Eric Rowan? Yes, it is. I mean, I guess we could, uh... I don't really want to bring in another heel. Yeah, I don't want to do So we could do Steve Bradley for a night. Who's this guy? He's from the APW boot camp. Oh, well... Wait, go back up to him and read his profile when you get a chance. Did you go back to him? Uh, boot camp... <laughs> oh, is this a graduate that doesn't wrestle? Uh, no, he doesn't. He just doesn't work for APW. What are you wrestling as? Which is weird because. You know, you would think if no, he. I was wondering, like, what his name would be if he wrestled. Because I was going to APW in 05, 06. And if he graduated in 03, he would probably still be there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh. I want somebody to whip his ass. Oh, Kidman. Is he a heel or a face, Caden Anthony? A uh, heel. Oh yeah, Kidman all the way. Sounds good. I want Kidman to do a shooting star of press and land on his face. <laughs> wow, what problems do you have with him? <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if Kidman missed him and he landed his knees in his face? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't have a problem with Caden Anthony. I kind of like him. <laughs> he, uh, do you know who Billy Blade is? Uh, actually, yes, I do. When I first started going to APW, uh, Caden was teaming up with Billy Blade and they are called their Mortal Fear. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Nakamura against then, our good buddy, uh... Oh, check this out. You know what my problem with him? Was he no-showed an APW show to go to OzFest. And you know how I know? Because the promoter came out and told us. <laughs> like, he was supposed to be here tonight. I, dude, he was trying to pull up Paul Heyman. You know what Paul Heyman calls on Sabu? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a little bit different. Like, he did this was weird tonight, but he decided to go to Ozfest. Ozfest. <laughs> uh, Ozfest. Yeah, put the headbangers in there. Oh wait, is this a win for the headbangers? Yeah, they could use a win. I mean, it could be, yeah. And I think he spelled kind Ty wrong. Kai and Ty. 
Kind. I mean, I. <laughs> you. That's that's racist. That's not racist. Is it? Akiva Sakoda or Kayentai? Oh, they're not. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, what do you think about Nakamura just taking the mic and getting an open challenge just to get him better on the mic? That'd be good. Is he gonna say indeed? <laughs> oh wait, this match is up here. <laughs> it's you know, Kai was doing their stick. That was the most amazing shit ever. Did you watch uh, Backlash? Uh, yeah, yeah, I actually did. Did you, did you enjoy? What did you enjoy the most of the entire show? The Fashion Police. Oh, dude, me too. <laughs> Normally, I don't like comedy in my wrestling, but Tyler Breeze was incredible. My favorite was when he kept rolling back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I was laughing so hard. Dude, I was laughing so hard. My girlfriend was like, "What's so funny?" And I go, "Come here," and I wound it. And then I was like watching it, and I was laughing again really hard. <laughs> and it was like genius. <laughs> he would roll to the one side, and then he walk over there, then he rolled to the other side. <laughs> oh man, that was yeah. incredible. Spot on, spot on. Uh, no, I want I want Don Marie because I don't trust her on the. Uh, Regular show. As long as they don't get married. Well, if Madison Rain was still here, I mean, Madison Rain was here, it's a possibility. Yeah, no. she has bad taste, apparently. Have you seen, oh my goodness, have you seen this new, uh, Impact has a YouTube show called, uh, With This Ring, and it's Josh Matthews and Madison Rain? I'm kind of glad I haven't, no. Dude, it's terrible. It's awful. They like it's like a talk show, and then Madison then Madison Rain goes, "So Josh, tell me about blah blah blah." And then Josh's like, "Oh oh, you've been talking about everything except for what I'm pissed off about. Everything except for Jerry Borash. Well, you know what? Fine then. I will talk about Jerry Borash." He was all like mad, and I was like, "Dude, you gotta calm the fuck down, Josh Matthews." <laughs> Good old Josh Matthews. Yeah. Good old Josh Matthews. Good old Josh. Oh, wait, we can't do Ultimo Dragon and Ernest Miller again. It was like... Come on. You really need him on Impact? I mean, I've been saying that since he got... A, <laughs> I've been saying that since he got employed. Basically. How about Rikishi instead? I'm multitasking. Yeah. We're... we're to we're multitasking. We're talking about Impact, and we're talking about Rikishi being b not bleh, not being booked since January. Dang, Rikishi is a future Hall of Famer. If only, only if we feel bad for him. And I'll, I'll only if he goes to his home region. Yeah. For WrestleMania. Oh, Who's from there? Damn it! How about Rikishi? Hmm. Mm. That one guy is never going Hall of Fame now. Who what? was Pat Patterson's tag team partner? Ray Stevens. Uh, yeah, Ray Stevens. Um, I was reading an article about Ray Stevens, and if he was ever going to go in the WWE Hall of Fame, it would have been uh, when they came to San Francisco. I mean, I think they'll go in. He'll go in eventually when it comes. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And what I was going to say before about your comment about Kayentai is, it's 2017, everything's racist. That's true. <laughs> Even if it's not supposed to be, it is. Yeah, no, I mean, everybody sees trouble in everything you say, though, dude. Yeah. It's so crazy. Good thing not many people watch these videos. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I'm not being racist, I'm just being racially insensitive. Yeah, we're being truthful. Or WWE, if that makes That's sense. Because Vince McMahon. Yeah, we're being WWE. Are we trying to build up Kidman versus Mysterio? I'm thinking that we're doing that. Are we, or is that already done? Mm, uh, 
Let's look off camera because I may have I may have booked that for a later pay per view. So I think you might be right. So let's just go with that that we're bu- be building that up for now. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking that we have to build up Kidman. That's all. Yeah, I think we. I think that's what Spoiler we're doing. Alert. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we spoiled everything else. So who cares? <laughs> I know it's like, oh, we're gonna talk about our plans with Sting, but we won't talk about our plans with Kidman. <laughs> that's a surprise. Yeah. Not bad. Fifty. Not bad. Yeah, because secretly we're planning Kidman, Kidman against Mysterio when Kidman's gonna be our Jinder Mahal. Give us win the world title of Backlash. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. This year. No, you're not. Uh, we're, we're gonna push Kidman in, in two months and he's gonna be the world champion in two months. Wait. That'd be cool. Is that actually what they did with Jinder? Yeah, he hadn't had any wins. Until that battle royal, and that was like two months before he got his title. Yeah, that's. Oh, Shinsuke, not bad either. Yeah, that's too real. <laughs> his promo was better than his match. I blame that on Cassidy O'Reilly. I blame it on Dolph Ziggler. Everything. I blame everything on Dolph Ziggler. Oh, Josh actually did good. Maybe we keep him on Velocity for a bit, and then we uh, let him start doing interviews on SmackDown. We should make him start dressing more professionally, though. Yeah. He looks like a douchebag. Actually, he looks like Rachel. He is. He he looks more like Rachel Maddow. (laughs) I don't know who that is. (laughs) He looks more like Dom Marie than Dom Marie does. Yeah. Tori Wilson comes out. Tori Wilson comes out completely naked, shooting up t-shirts. Yeah, it's Velocity. I think it was on the, uh, I think it was on the network now anyway, uh, WWE.com now, anyway. What's that? Velocity. Oh, is that on TV anymore? I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I don't... I hated it when that happened. I I think at this point, I don't think it was on TV anymore. So then why are we shopping around around for a TV deal? Well, it must be on... Actually, I think it must be on TV, otherwise it would have came up that it wasn't on TV anymore. I'm confused. Well, I do think. No, we'll check it out for SmackDown. If it's on TV, then we'll try to get it on TV. I do think once Josh Matthews got it, became its, uh, uh, became the announcer on the show, it got booted off TV. <laughs> well, I mean, I wouldn't doubt that either. Yeah, yeah. So we have okay. So, what do you want to do for SmackDown today? What was the main event last week? Oh, it was, the, it was going into the pay-per-view, huh? Yeah. Um, uh, show. Okay, let's damn, have... Damn, it, it was Jericho and Angle. I think. Yeah, it was Jericho and Angle because we were trying to build up Benoit and... Uh, uh, Benoit and Jericho. Have we had Lesnar versus Benoit? No. That, do you think that's too big to put on SmackDown? Nothing's too big to put on SmackDown. What? <laughs> Well, now that... Benoit won, right? Yeah. Now they had, you know, big matches on other... Nowadays, when they had big matches on, it wasn't because of the ratings, it was because of the fact that they had... Each brand had... Like, they didn't have the pay-per-views, you know what I mean? Yeah, they had a big... They had a big, uh, show... Yeah, they had more. Once a month. Yeah, they had more of a gap between the pay per views for the brands, so bigger matches were on the show. Well, we just had a pay per view. We just had a pay per view SmackDown, but I feel like the world title wasn't defended on it, so we should do a SmackDown title defense. That works. But you're gonna get mad at me because I'm gonna say, "Let's end it on a brawl." Well, I also think we should tease tension between uh, Benoit and Angle, and maybe run, not maybe not run Benoit and Angle this week, but maybe run it like I don't know the week before Mania or something. You know what I mean? No, let's save it for after Mania, so it could be a title match. Actually, let's save it all together because we could do a really a good long feud with those two. Well, the only reason why I mean, if you want to be real, they kind of feuded last year. 
Mm, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, Brock and Kurt feuded last year, too, but... But, yeah. Are you going to make Jericho interfere or something? I... Yeah, screw it. Why not? I mean, that's going to get them heat. Yeah, that would, you know, that's good to uh, help uh, continue building back up that feud because I don't want it to uh, fuck the blow off at WrestleMania. You know? Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. How can I really we... want to make strong. Um, John Cena is the normal contender for the title. You want to have him cut a? You want to do like a face to face with the Big Show? Uh, maybe we could have Cena cut a promo. What do yeah. you, do you want to do? Do you want to do John Cena versus Disco Inferno? <laughs> you got way too excited about that match. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, and we'll have John Cena cut a promo on the Big Show after the match. Yeah, and then let's have Big Show and John, you know, stay apart for most of the build. Because I was thinking okay. about, uh, that works. maybe we have uh, Piper return and do Piper's Pit with the U.S. title. Well, that'd be good. Be, you know, to help elevate the U.S. title because Big Show really hasn't done anything this year thus far. Well, next week we'll have Big Show defend the title. Uh, so... Pro Did Big Show beat up John Cena at the pay-per-view, Backlash? No. Whatever it was called? I think they had a confrontation. I don't think they had a... Uh, I don't think they'd be... I don't right, think he beat him up. That the Big Show is banned from the building tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, and you want to do the normal with Kane? Yeah, 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 definitely. We have D-Ray 3000. <laughs> Better we have Cassidy O'Reilly. That's true. No uh, one. wait, is Cassidy... Oh, actually, no, we didn't sign a local talent who's a babyface. I don't... I don't think we did. Let's go with... Oh, wait, we have Steve Bradley. You want to just have Steve Bradley do it? Is he a baby? Yeah. No, Marty Jannetty. Because we never, we didn't use Steve Bradley on... Uh, okay, no, that's fine. I'm good with that. Yeah. I forgot to take off brands. Uh, Kane, Steve Bradley... Kane. Uh. Undertaker, you will come out of hiding because I'm running for mayor. You will vote for me, Undertaker. Steve Bradley not rated. And. The Undertaker. Still off camera, right? Yeah. When should he show up to go home show? Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be, that'd be good, you know, that would make the, uh... Let's, um, since Raw is the beginning of March, let's have Kane have a match on Raw, and then the lights turn purple and shit as he's walking away and he gets all scared. I don't know if there's an angle for that, but we can bring uh, it. Uh, well, I mean, we could probably just freestyle it. Um, like we have been, you know, mm -hmm. and just have Taker be off screen. The angles is to be determined or to be to be um, explained later. Yeah, it's like whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh shit! I gotta turn off. I was gonna say tag team match. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta turn off brands. Tag team match, player. It's alright. We can do this. For anybody watching, no, all these tag teams are not on SmackDown. 
No, dude. That's the bad split off. Oh, what about Linda and Kendrick? Are they on SmackDown? We could do they some, are. Um, this work? Yeah, who wins that match? The bloody Italians? I mean, I... Well, they booked each other like... Huh. You know what? It might be better... Did they work the pay-per-view? They did work the pay-per-view. Oh, they did? Yeah. Well, That's the gra- right world's yeah. greatest did. We can go to the world's greatest tag team. They took the they they got the win, so it might be better to do the Guerrero so they can take the get the win back. You know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that works. And that's an easy team for them to beat. Yeah. No offense. Well. If Johnny Stambelli's listening, no offense. Well, I mean, if uh, you know, if Johnny Stambelli's listening, you know, because relic is killer spelled backwards. <laughs> It is. Where was he? Relic is a TNA? Mm hmm. That didn't last very long, huh? No. Not at all. Relic. <laughs> I forgot about that. Like, I forgot that even existed. Yeah. There's a reason for that. You block out the bed. <laughs> Where is, uh, we didn't do some OJ on SmackDown. Because he's on Raw. Velocity. Because he's on Raw. Oh, did he transfer to Raw? Yeah, we moved up. <laughs> That's fine. That's a good match. Uh, pre-show? I, I would say Shannon Moore. Pre-show match, or do you want to... Mm, do we have, do we need a room on the card? Um, I mean, you just want to book it on the pre-show, I mean, the regular show, and if we need room on the regular show, we can yeah, move yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, then you can bump it down. Sounds good. It'll be a designated uh, pre-show backup match. Yeah. Uh, well, let's... Based on the feuds, uh, let me know where you want to go. What did Ray Ray do at the pay-per-view? Uh, Dragon. He works with Dragon. Okay, that's right. Okay, so we don't need to have him in a match. Kidman had a match on the Velocity. Yeah. How are the world's greatest tag team on the mic? Uh, Shelton's decent, Charlie's average. Do you want to have him cut a promo? Uh, yeah, we can. Uh, with or without Josh Matthews? Uh, with, actually. Josh Matthews is not bad. Yeah, because all he has to do is look at the teleprompter. You can have him talk about every tag team that's in there. Or just, I don't know, they're defeating with the Guerreros, so thumbs up with the Guerreros. Oh, so Bradshaw and, uh... Yeah, you could do that too, that's fine. Yeah, throw them all in there if you can. Well, actually, all I have to do is throw in two of them, and then that'll affect their feud. Okay. So that's good. How do you feel about the pay-per-view? Like, I hate them all. <laughs> yeah, we're so much better than everybody else. We're world, We're the world's greatest. Uh, self-proclaimed. Yeah. All right. Oh, you in trouble? Mm. Oh no, it's just dinner time. But nice. Oh. Look at the main eventers. We can rec. Uh, uh, oh, not very much. Oh wait, that's just oh, that's everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's everyone. The main eventers. Uh wait. Uh, Brock is booked. Benoit is booked. Oh, I see, okay. And Jericho's a mid-carder. I mean, I know for mid-carder. Uh, let's do... Let's put Rhino... Actually... Let's put Perry Saturn in a match. Okay. I'm gonna guess you might be wanting to put him in a match against Bob Holly. <laughs> Why, did we do that before? No, because you want to break down Bob... You want to bring down Bob Holly. <laughs> I do! No, I don't. Do I? He's on time to climb. Um, let's put him in the mid carter. Let's look at the mid card baby faces. Well, what actually? Actually, what I uh, let me ask. Since we're gonna put Billy in a tag team, you want to book him against but Perry? Yeah, you can do that. Perry gets the win, or Billy gets the win. Uh, let's right, have Perry. yeah, let's have Perry get Perry's the win because he's still. Out of the two. Well, that that and he's still new. 
Yeah, that's true. We just signed him. Yeah, yeah. Plus, we're going to go longevity with, with Perry as a singles wrestler. Billy Gunn could uh, get his momentum back in the tag team. Yeah. Um, we got about 13 minutes, need about one or two more angles, and depending on that, we may need another match or two. Okay. Um, uh, you pretty much covered everything on this list. Oh, yeah, you want to do the backstage with Kurt and Chris? Yeah, we'll have Kurt Angle giving Chris and Wall pointers. And Chris saying how it could be him facing Kurt at WrestleMania. And then Kurt could say, but don't win my title. Thanks, Kurt. I'll see you at WrestleMania. And it's better than seeing him in his house in Atlanta. Ouch. I guess... <laughs> uh, <laughs> last storm. I guess it is good that nobody, not many people watches this because we'd probably offend someone. <laughs> oh, man, I love Chris Benoit jokes. My friend actually just died and him and I used to make, uh, my friend that just died, we used to always make Chris Benoit jokes together. It was fun. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, sounds, uh, sounds interesting. Uh, Jamie Noble. I'm just wondering, I don't know, I thought, I thought Lance was a cruiserweight, but I guess he gained weight from WCW. Well, you want to give him against the heavyweight then? It doesn't matter. We're not doing nothing with uh, Jamie Noble, so who cares? And then, um, put Justin Credible in the pre-show match. Okay, we, I was right, we needed two angles. Well, you know what, let's do, uh... Oh, wait. Lance, we could do Lance Storm and Justin Credible in the back, and we could do, like, whatever EWR angle it used to be, like, babyface scene with the heel acting heelish. You, you, well, they, uh, we can add that angle, but do you just want to drop this down so we don't... Yeah, that's fine. I'm good with that. Because the uh, game's yelling at us for having too many matches. Oh, there you go. Uh, well, I'm I'm thinking it might just be... Yeah, let's wait on the... You want to do it? Well, we need another angle. And then this way we could just slide, the mat slide Shannon and Kid Cash back off the pre-show. He's seen hanging out with Justin Kerbal after the match. And they're like, what? Didn't they just have a match against each other at the pay-per-view? Oh, shit. Stupid game. Wait, what's the storytelling? Uh, Brock and Kurt. I mean, Brock and Chris. Okay. Eh, let's just... Should we throw a Jericho promo in there? Talk about how Benoit doesn't deserve the title shot. Benoit is not going to win the belt. And he's going to personally make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? <laughs> this Jericho's good on the mic. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a drink of water. Alright. Okay, so we got those matches going, and, um, you know what, I'm... Alright, Marty Jannetty. I just realized Marty Jannetty was a local talent. <laughs> Who the heck is Haya Zaya? Well, there's a reason for this, and it's, I don't I like, I don't like... The fact that people don't work too many times during the month, and since this is the last uh, last day of the month, I want to give Rikishi more than one match in the month of February. Why? So we don't need his downside agreement? No, because he's only had one match in the month of February, <laughs> and I don't like just not booking yeah, people. Didn't deserve it. Just yeah, I mean it's a pre-show match. 
Hayaziah got a nine. Fifty four. <laughs> Nine? He got a nine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Kid and Anthony would have done better. I forgot I had two heels. <laughs> I didn't need Hayaziah. <laughs> That's alright. He did a nine. Well, I just wanted to see your reaction when I got a guy named Hayaziah. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, man. <laughs> what a great fucking name. <laughs> what a great name. <laughs> I love the Ray 3000. So, 87. Michael Cole was weak. Of course, he is weak. Where's Joey Styles when you need him? Uh, I don't know. They both gain heat, though. That's good. Yeah. That's why we include... I the Jared, the Chris is to be, like, on fire going into WrestleMania. Yeah. Well, the way we're booking it, it will be on fire. Aww. <laughs> oh. Dumpster fire. Yeah. Well, no, that's the women. That's the women's feud. Oh, they didn't click. Oh, that just means Disco Kid feud with John Cena. <laughs> Sorry. Nice highest baby face we could feud Disco with. <laughs> <laughs> we can always team Hayazai and Disco Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, eighty-one. John Boy's getting good on the mic. Kane and so you're really just a big hoe. Steve Bradley. Wow, he did 20... Be <laughs> Steve Bradley did 20 better than Hayaziah. <laughs> <laughs> I expect that, though, because I've never heard of Hayaziah. I've never heard of him. Actually, wait, I think I might have... You've heard of Steve Bradley. Oh, no, I think I've heard of Hayaziah, too, from Local Talents. You're a liar. I probably am. 84? Nice. Yeah, it's all Steve Bradley. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the, with the fact that we were op uh, kept it on overness for Taker and Entertainment for Kane. Oh, not bad, not bad. Oh, wow, well, I remember the lasso from El Paso. Yeah, that movie was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, especially in games. Yeah, really in games, like, it's to where it's like, it's stupid to even put it on the person because it takes so long for him to do it. Yeah, because it, it, like he would sunset flip over and then roll through and then, you know, it was yeah. like <laughs> it was like a combination of uh, Triple H's uh, inverted leg lock and Sami Zayn's finish or signature move, the rolling senton. Uh, blue thunder bomb. Uh, right? No, that old running rolling senton that he would do and he roll all the way through. Uh, Josh Matthews with World's Greatest. I, I got... Not too terrible. Not too yeah. good, I mean. Well, now, maybe... Next week... An in-ring with all of them? Yeah. Or something, and then we just start doing, like, tag team matches or whatever. You know, or singles matches, I mean. To lead to the eight-man tag. I mean, uh, Four Corners tag team match at Mania. How many guys are in that? Eight? Uh, yeah. So we could actually do an eight-man tag team match, too, if you want. Oh, yeah, we can. The go-home show. Yeah. A typical WWE move. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And let's think whoever wins the go-home show lose at the pay-per-view. Yeah, well, uh... So what happened here? 59. Landstorm won, and Jamie Noble did, uh, <laughs> Jamie Noble did, uh, about, uh, 60 better than Hayazaya. Hey, did you, <laughs> did you listen to, uh, Storm and, Storm and Cyrus? Uh, I've heard snippets of their podcast, I think when they had Raven on. There was one where, uh, they were talking about, Landstorm was kind of complaining about how, People always call their crab after their hometown. Like Nunzio did the Sicilian crab, and um, Rick Martel did the Montreal crab, and Landstorm does the the Calgary crab. You know. Yeah. And then uh, Cyrus goes, "Man, a lot of wrestlers have crabs." <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like more more of a Joe Gertner joke than a Cyrus joke. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> 
Speaking of Joel Gertner and Cyrus uh, recreating an old ECW uh, tag team with the Impact players. You know what's cool is that they fought at the pay per view, and then they could show Lance walking to the curtain, and Justin Campbell's like, "Hey, we got to talk." Yeah, Don Marie's pregnant. <laughs> Oh no! They could they could say that you could hear uh, Justin say Jason wants back in. <laughs> <laughs> Jason who? Jason Knight, their old manager. No, I know that, but I mean, we wouldn't know who he was as a WWE audience. Oh, that's true. And, and then you just ha- and then you just have Lance uh, look all alarmed. Now Jason wants back in. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I don't have Don Marie back. You don't know Don Marie's with Garrison Cade now. Yeah, I'd, ra- I'd rather Steve Carino come in. <laughs> That'd be cool. Or maybe, yeah, then we can have Jack Victory. <laughs> uh, we could get the Extreme Horseman going in the WWE. Yeah. Oh. These two guys, Steve Carino, but who would be the leader? Uh, Simon. Uh, I thought we were going to bring in Simon Diamond to tag with Johnny Springer. Well, Simon has a problem. He's not oh, in yeah, WWE. He was such a cool gimmick. He's not in WWE. <laughs> Simon has a problem. He would be a perfect person to have an open challenge thing with. Yeah. Because every time he comes out, it'd be Simon has a problem. He doesn't have a match. Uh, so your little uh, pre-show pick me up. Uh, uh, did no, this is yeah, it, it actually did one worse than the pre-show match did. So, I mean, you know, it's not that uh, not that different. Yeah, Chris Jericho, thank you, Josh, for blowing it. Yeah, you know what? When we um, for future reference, when we have somebody who's so good at the microphone, just have them be by themselves. Yeah, yeah, because Josh ruins it every time. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Good thing Josh Math. So shitty too. Well, I mean, it's. What the. If I can do it. Uh, well, as I was going to say, uh, for the people that were involved in the match, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, for the run that, I mean, I don't know how serious of a run we're going to give Saturn, but for the run we're going to, for the run he's getting now, it's another solid win. Yeah, that's true. And Billy doesn't need it because he's going to be in the tag team soon. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to bring back Bart Gun. <laughs> Hell yeah, bombastic Bart. Yeah. Uh, so now we got the backstage segment with, uh... Kurt Angle sitting down with Chris Benoit, telling him all of Brock Lesnar's weaknesses. Yeah. And it's a very short segment because Kurt says he's a beast and he has no weaknesses. No, look. <laughs> this isn't ten years ago. I mean, ten years... It, it isn't ten years now. Okay, I'll see. Yeah, yeah. it kind of was ten years ago, buddy. Yeah. Well, I'll keep quiet. It was fifteen. I mean, uh, well, no. like thirteen. I was close. <laughs> and Jericho and Benoit gained heat. Yeah. And they gained heat again. Nice. Not a bad match. Why was it so low? I'll just say, well, it was... Pl- it, it was holding back. It, it's because of the Jericho and uh, Benoit match. Uh, oh, feud. Man. Yeah, they dropped the heat of the match. I mean, dropped the heat of the feud. As long as their feud grew, grew heat. Oh yeah, their feud gained heat definitely, but the uh, but the match lost because of the feud. Compared to, I want to say last episode of SmackDown, this is a hundred times better. That was a big time main event, at least. Yeah. Well, without the interference, I think we would have just gotten penalized for the lack of association with a hot storyline. So I think that would have been okay, at least. But I mean, this was a be- a, a good launching point for the future, I guess you could say, for uh, you know, for SmackDown as we approach the big 
show coming up in a couple weeks. Joel's been through a ride. And now it's time to say that February is over officially with this show now done. And we can move forward to the month of March, where we now move to three weeks away from WrestleMania. And the matches become a little bit more clear as Kane and The Undertaker continue to build up. Uh, Kurt and Brock, Jericho and Benoit. John Cena and Disco Inferno. John Cena and The Big Show. And. The players are kind of doing something. Yep. And we also the have. teams are all kind of brewing. And we also have the enjoyment of seeing Hayazaya in the pre show. <laughs> well, I can't help it, we think alike. <laughs> um so Anthony Caden's like crying in the back. Yeah. But well if anybody's crying, it's Cassidy Riley because he had the team with him. <laughs> uh, we love you, Hayazaya. Maybe you'll be back again soon. <laughs> uh but either but either way, if you like what we're doing, let us know down in the comments section because feedback is always welcomed and appreciated. But if you don't want to leave a comment, you can always leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this that you can only find right here at Wrestling Express. Till next time. Peace.